Hello, and welcome to Spoiler Alert, where I tell you how something was that isn't yet. This week, we're looking at the second half of the second season of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., or as I like to think of it, Agent Carter with a 70-year time skip. Now, as you may recall, we already spoiled Season 2 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. about five months ago. I'd just like to note that there's a parallel universe in which everything we said came true. However, we didn't foresee a few things, one of which was the Inhumans, or as they're otherwise known, copyright-friendly mutants. They are a powerful race of people with hidden abilities, who have been forced out into the light of day due to infighting between two very powerful, very secretive organizations. I'm speaking, of course, about Marvel and Sony. As we learned during the mid-season finale, God, I hate that term, Sky is actually Daisy Johnson, or Quake, and she has the power to, surprise, surprise, cause earthquakes. And for the second half of this season, she must learn to master that power with the help of the original earthbending masters, the Badger Moles. The mysterious Reyna also had her powers awakened at the end of the mid-season finale, and she has turned into Chitara from the Thundercats. But that doesn't mean everyone got a power-up. I mean, Coulson got dosed with similar stuff to what Sky had, and he didn't get powers, he just got a healthy dose of the crazies. Thankfully, that's all been cleared up by now, but it doesn't stop him from curling up in his Captain America onesie at night, wishing for the superpowers he was never given. Ward is also still around and still lusting after Sky, because evidently he can't take a bullet-shaped hint. He's on the run with a woman who has Melinda May's face plastered onto her own and can't get it off. Ward sleeps with her out of sheer habit. And speaking of Agent Melinda May, we learn a lot more about her in the coming episodes, including meeting her ex-husband and finding her secret stash of Care Bears and Unicorns. Bobby Morse and Lance Hunter are also back, back together, and still fighting. They seek out others to talk about their relationship difficulties with, only to find out they are the best functioning romance on this show. Yikes. And on the topic of dysfunctional relationships, Dr. Calvin is back and still longing to spend some quality time with his daughter Daisy, but still can't get over the fact that Coulson stole his kill. I'd say that Calvin needs to find his Hobbs, but quite frankly, I think imaginary voices might be his problem already. This is the Marvel Cinematic Universe though, so naturally there are some movie tie-ins. For instance, Lady Sif comes back to do stuff because she doesn't in Thor. She explains the Kree to Coulson so that he can finally know the species that is responsible for reducing him to a creepy version of Harold in the Purple Crayon. But perhaps most important is an episode in which the Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. must break into Stark Tower. You see, Tony is working on artificial intelligence, and they wanted to reprogram them. Funny thing is, Fitz may have accidentally mistaken that data disk they were going to use with his favorite childhood DVD, which is how the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. accidentally exposed Ultron to Pinocchio. This mistake had no repercussions whatsoever. There are... No strings on me. And that's it for this week's spoiler alert. Please tell me what you want reviewed in advance in the comments down below. And until next time, don't say I didn't warn you.